Right, so I'm finally doing it. I'm explaining how to kit swap. And trust me, you'll walk away from the end of this video knowing how to kit swap. I promise you that now. It has been requested for me to do a tutorial on this, so here it is. I'm a bit angry because I've just done a 30 minute explaining how to kit swap while doing it and all the files corrupted of my audio so here it is i am doing a voiceover instead <laughs> all right so the first thing you want to do is cut out your player that you have selected i am doing Embremo because he's linked to manchester united but once you have him selected you can see Embremo's arm is coming over you want to make a copy of that so it also sits over the kit when you put the kit back on just like that Next thing, dragging your kit, I'm using the 25-26 Manchester United kit. You can get a United player that is like standing kind of the same as him, so it matches a lot easier. But there's no one wearing the 25-26 kit yet, so this is what I have. The next thing you want to do is cut the arms off the kit. All you want is the middle, because it is so easy to warp and puppet warp onto the actual body. I think the best thing for you to do is do this at the same time as watching this video because I will be giving you tips and stuff like that. Okay, so when you have just the front of the kit, you want to go up to edit and select puppet warp. This will be your best friend of warping it to the actual body. You can use normal warp as well, but puppet warp works the best in my opinion. While I was doing this, I had the collar selectors still. I got rid of the collar after because it was just a lot harder. I added the collar back later on in the video. match it to the body here i had a bit of an issue with it weren't big enough it didn't fit the body so again leave it resize and go back this is where i realized look the collar's not going to work let's get rid of that collar for now You can clip it to the body, which I'll do later on in the video, just because it looks better. I'm not doing the shorts in this video because I'm, I've never really played around with shorts. I'll just make the, the player bigger and it just looks a lot better. I tried to challenge myself for this video of the arms because it was a weird shape that you have to get. You'll see what I mean. Right, so once you have your actual base layer set of the kit, bring in your sleeves and arms. Sleeve slash arms is the same thing. Again, same process, puppet warp onto it. Here, I, I once I messed up, I just had to get rid of that collar because it was, it was a pain. I brought it back in later on in the video and you'll see what I did. Here is where I ran into a problem. The actual sleeve class arm wasn't big enough at all. So I used camera or filter on the main, like, main kit and just extended it. And look, it fits perfectly. 
to blend it all together nice. Here I tried smudging because sometimes smudging works great. Sometimes smudging works absolutely like a treat. But it just didn't in this in this situation. Erase it to the point where it matches the base layer of the kit. And I always make mistakes on kit swaps. Here's me playing around with this collar. I had it wrong. This is what I mean. I had it wrong. I had to go back, look at the kit, look at the way it's meant to be. And trust me, this is this is all about process of learning how to kit swap. I am not a professional. I've just done it for quite a while. And sometimes mine comes out really bad. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to post that. And trust me, you'll have them days where you're like, no, it's, it's not fitting. But push through that. And you'll make it fine in graphic design. This is the best example I had. I looked at the color and changed it back to the way it was meant to be, and it looks perfect. I ran into an issue with the sleeve because it was a bit brighter. So I went into levels and adjusted that to match with the main kit. Sometimes it is just like that. Okay, so one of the things I like to do to make it look real and legit is make a duplicate copy of the arm that is over the top of the kit. Double click on that layer. Go to color overlay, change that to black. And then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And then set it to you want, to what you want. Change the opacity and look, you have a shadow. It is that easy. I am bringing the sleeve back in, which fits like a like a glove. Next thing I did was enlarge the player just so he feels it a lot better. If you want to keep the background, you can. Just 
select the subject, content aware fill, and bosh, he's gone. But the arm wasn't perfect, so I had to go back and erase it just to make it perfect. And trust me, it, this is process of kit swap. And then I like adding highlights and shadows because. Shadows makes it look legit and that it's actually on this person that you were doing. So I did a shadow beyond a Bremu and it looks like he's a camera flashing stuff and it fits perfectly. But yeah, after this camera filter, we are done. Done and you want a camera filter, this is where it comes to life by the way. You select everything and then do Control G, Control J and then go to the rectangle tool. Select what's in the middle, do Control J again and then go to camera raw but delete the one that was below it so it's just that what's in the image and that's it really you've done a kit swap you've done a kit swap i hope you are proud of yourself i want to see everyone's kit swap join the discord and if it is your first kit swap let me know in the discord and i will rate it if you have enjoyed this video please like and comment tell me how i did explaining sometimes i'm rubbish in it i'm rubbish at explaining and i do apologize but yeah Love you guys to death. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for 7.3k by the way. Thank you very much. But yeah, I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.